What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, and I have got a special football edition mail day, really a few mail days for you, but um, last week I was watching football. I, I really do enjoy the NFL, I just don't collect a lot of it because um, I feel like it comes at the expense of my basketball collection. Well, guess what? I bought five football cards last weekend, and they're all here now, and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and open those up. So. Let's take a look at what I got. The first two are just plain white envelope, standard envelope cards. Um, this is a set that I, I do really like. And, well, I guess I went and bought the Peyton Manning on Com C, so I actually bought six cards last weekend. But um, it's a cheap set. They're not worth a lot, but I, I just think they look really good. It's an acetate set called Bright Lights. So this is the Edron James. And when I put that in a binder, I'll probably put, like, a white you know piece of paper behind it but um that was i that was probably in the ten dollar range really cheap peyton manning i got on com c for i think 20 um which on ebay they were about 30 so um i had to pick that up so i think those look really good happy with that i know now that i know what that one was i know what this one is this is a set that is also in basketball from the 2000s and i love the basketball set and I had, or have, I should say, still have it, the Ron Artest. And I've wanted this one from the Colts for a while now, but everyone wants like $65. So this one came up for auction. It had damage noted on it. It said pitting, I think was the term they used on the front, uh, which these are very condition sensitive anyway. So I want to be careful when I take this out. So they listed the damage, and I think as a result of that, it, it sold a lot well yeah a lot cheaper than it should have but i see the damage now it which it was marked so i'm not you know not critical of that um and this yeah i thought i saw this on the listing i was hoping it wasn't there it is a crease but that that's fine like i said they noted it was on there um i got so i got this for like 11 dollars compared to this 65 um yeah it's it's dinged up but it'll be a good binder card and it's one that I can pair with that R-Test. So no, not upset about that damage. That damage was expected. Expected damage, you know, as long as I know what I'm buying, I'm fine. I can make those decisions. It's just when the, I don't know what I'm buying is when uh, I, I get frustrated. All right, this one. Um, probably should have saved it for last. No, we'll see what it is. Actually, not sure. It's not soccer cards. Um... And I'm, I'm sure that's probably not a $15 soccer card, although, you know what, I have no clue. Um, let's see what the fillers are here. Ronaldo, I don't, I don't know who these guys are. I'm not going to pretend that I know who they are. And then Nick Castellanos on the back. Alex Verdugo. All right, here, here's, <laughs> here's what I bought it for. It's an Andrew Luck um, Spectra from 2014, so it had been his third season. And, um, man, I, I don't normally like thick cards, which is why I've always stayed away from Spectra. They, they can't go in the binder, but it's just a, it was a really cheap Andrew Luck gold. It was, it was like $14 shipped or something like that. And no, they're not out of 10. These are out of 25. But um, I've been into Andrew Luck stuff lately. And that would have been from, I think, October is Breast Cancer Awareness. So I can probably game date it by looking at some photos, too. Um, so I, you know, I don't know. Do you put these in your binders? Those of you that are binder people, I haven't got to that point yet. I suppose you could. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you do. So now, since I bought that one, then, of course, I go on eBay. And... Um, 2014 Spectra football is a lot different than Spectra basketball. So I really didn't even know that this card existed, but I thought, you know what, I've, I've got the gold. I saw this one, and I decided that I wanted to have it as well, if I can get it open here. I think this one I got for less than $20 shipped, so it's another variation um, it's the black variation. Now, I, um, you know, before I saw this listing, I thought that all of the black variations, like in basketball, I thought it was a one one uh, But then I, I saw there were actually several of these listed 
at the same time. So there's another one on eBay, at least one more, maybe even two more on eBay right now. But um, I like that there are black parallels and gold parallels in multiple products. It's a little bit of continuity, even though the numbering's not the exact same. And aside from whatever that is, that can be wiped off. Surface looks clean. I don't see any big scratches or anything. So, um, you know, in my when I look at this, I see one on one, right? Just because I'm used to that. I'm not trying to make it similar to that at all. It's just when I look at that, I see ten and one, and that that's not the case here at all. Um, but I do like the way these look. So went on a little bit of an Andrew Luck buying spree, and uh, did not stop there. This is one that. Um, is a newer card, but features a game-worn piece in it. And it, it, Lux stuff is so hit and miss. Ooh, no surprise there. Card was visible as we were taking it out. Now the big thing will be that there didn't appear to be any damage on the listing. Um, looks like it was packed fairly well. These patch cards are tough just because of the windows, though. Now, if this was player worn, I would have, uh, I would have not bid on it or not bid as much on it. I'm not opposed to having player worn stuff. I do have luck player worn stuff, but this is, as we'll see in a moment here, we'll look at the back. This is game worn, number two out of five. So it's one of those number twos from the shoulder area. I wish there was some dirt or something where I could kind of game date this. I'm going to do some digging, see what all game worn jerseys I think Panini had. Maybe that'll be a future video, who knows, but enclosed game worn used material is guaranteed by Panini. That's a great looking Andrew Luck patch. I really, I felt like I needed another one for the collection. And uh, I like immaculate stuff. Uh, there's a lot of, of continuity with the things that I pick up. So uh, overall, very happy with that. All right, I'm not going to struggle with that and damage it in the process. So anyway, um, bought some football cards. You know what? Football will be on again here soon at the house. Might buy some more football cards after that. You know what? I'm having fun with it, though. I'm finding the guys that I liked and, and the guys that I want to pick up. So there you have it. Maybe I'll buy some Anthony Richardson stuff when... He gets more cult stuff and it's more affordable. In the meantime, remember there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>